And you know, Ricky, you were born in Kentucky. You started playing music at the age of five. When you were six, you got to play with Bill Monroe. That must have been something that you'll always look back on. I will always remember that. That was a special night. I know just the fact that he, being Bill Monroe and, and being, the, uh, you know, a country music, bluegrass, you know, legend, just that he took five minutes of his show and allowed a little hometown, unheard of, basically nobody kid, and allowed me to come up and play his his big mandolin, you know, that famous mandolin that's now in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Just that, that he allowed me that much, you know, that time and, and gave me, you know, gave me a stage and a spotlight for a minute and that's something that I, I will never forget, but his, his generosity. You know, Ricky, uh, in addition to the great Bill Monroe, you've played with the best of them over the years. Uh, who's that one artist, in addition to Bill, you know, and performer, that will always stand out for you? Well, Emmy Lou uh, did a lot for my career, I felt like. She, she, uh, she introduced me to a country music audience that hadn't heard of Ricky Skaggs in the bluegrass realm, you know, at that time. And so working with her and recording with her, uh, she even had me, you know, sing, uh, you know, would do step out verses, you know, that that was pretty unheard of at that time. And uh, uh, she really did a lot to promote Ricky Skaggs, um, you know, you know, with her band and and, uh, being out with a hot band, you know, her, her, her incredibly talented band. Um, that was, that was a big thing. Um, uh, I think, uh, you know, getting to work with Bruce Hornsby and doing music with him has been a, a great thing for me, not just musically, but, uh, you know, we're, we're great buds and, and, uh, really love continuing our relationship together. Uh, we still go out and tour. Uh, we just finished a tour up in March this year. And so we, we still love being active and, and playing music together. Ricky Skaggs uh, joining CFWE. Ricky, 16 Grammys on your shelf, countless other awards. Let's go back to the first one, 1983, Best Country Instrumental Performance. Tell us your reaction when you, not only finding out that you were nominated, but uh, when you eventually took your first Grammy home. It was the first one of those I'd ever won, and it uh, it was for something that we'd recorded Gosh, quite a few years before that, that was with J.D. Crow and Tony Rice in the band The New South um, for Fireball, I think, was the, that, that instrumental. And uh, I had long since left J.D. and, and started, a, you know, I guess I, maybe even in my country career by then. But uh, there was one, one instrumental uh, that, that I really uh, enjoyed getting to, to win, and that was the instrumental Wheel Hoss. Uh, which was a little bit later on uh, in my in my country career. Will a circle be unbroken? I think that is still one of my all time favorite songs. Uh, Johnny Cash, uh, yourself, uh, Roy Cuff. Tell us about that experience and you know the love that song still gets today. Well, people does love that song uh, for sure, and uh, everybody knows it. I mean, when you start singing it, you, uh, you the chorus. Everybody in the audience knows that. So uh, getting to know Johnny and June, Karen and I. Uh, we're, we're great friends to them, and they would call us and invite us over to their house for dinner, and just sitting around talking and just being real and doing, you know, talking about things that was important to us. You know, getting to know Johnny and Jen was, was a great thing, and of course, Mr. Cuff, like you mentioned, and um, you know, being a member of the Grand Ole Opry now, mm-hmm. 36 years, and uh, um, that's uh, that's a wonderful. A wonderful achievement. Ricky Skaggs uh, joining CFWE. Ricky, one of my favorite uh, songs of yours is Honey, Open That Door. What's one of your favorite all-time songs? I don't think I have a favorite country song yet. You know, if I do, it's by someone else. It's not by me. <laughs> uh, so, I, I, you know, I I love George Jones' music. Gosh, I love, you know, there's so many of my heroes that, that I love so much. Um, you know, as far as the stuff I've recorded... You know, Honey was a big one. Gosh, that that was that was huge. Heartbroke was was a song that really um, I don't know that turned a lot of things around for me. Uh, that that song right there, I think that might have been the first single from Highways and Heartaches, which was a huge record. And so many of my albums went uh, uh, gold and, and and platinum in in uh, in Canada. So the Canadian fans up there have, have meant a lot to me over the years and, and uh, 
we really appreciate their support and the, the support that we got from the Canadian audiences. And it's funny, I mean, you know, was was as popular in Western Canada as, as we were over in Eastern Canada, you know, and America and Canada has always had such a great relationship together, you know, and certainly musically, and that's that's a great thing that we that we love. We always have a lot of Canadians that come to Nashville. Uh, they always come down to the Opry. I, I tell you, we could mention any night of the week if that, that they have an Opry show. Anybody here from Canada? Yay! <laughs> you know, I mean, this is like, you know, we always get a shout out. You know, of course, you know Hank Snow was was. Uh, one of our resident Canadians uh, from Halifax, you know, that uh, that loved uh, loved Nashville and loved the Grand Ole Opry and was a member uh, for a long, long, long time. And, just, you know, his passing, you know, certainly left a hole there, you know, uh, but but his music uh, is so influential and people uh, people still love his music uh, today. I mean, he was a big influence on Rye Cooter and people don't know that. We didn't even know that, you know, until we started touring some with Rye. So, that was, a, that was a, a great thing to do as well. Ricky, August 12th, you're going to be in Edmonton next month, uh, taking part of the Edmonton Folk Festival. Cannot wait to uh, see you. It's going to be a fun weekend. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate you having me on.